Like all species, fish need habitat that provides them with food, shelter, and a safe place to raise their young. When natural structures like fallen trees and logs are removed from the water, for docks and swimming areas, for example, their habitat is degraded. One way to improve fish habitat is by adding new structure to them. Dalhousie Lake in Lanark County is one of those lakes that lacks underwater structure. Here, community groups and local NGOs work together to restore that habitat component for bass and other warm water fish. When planning a project like this, the process is always the same. Begin by gathering all available information from landowners, governments, and other agencies to determine which lakes might benefit from your efforts. You will need to obtain the official permits that are required no matter how large or small your project. It is important to select suitable sites for placing brush bundles. Drop sites should have a water depth of at least 12 feet to allow enough clearance for boaters. They need to be close to where fish are found naturally, like islands, shoals, and undeveloped shorelines. Making large bundles that could be easily transported was challenging. Having a bobcat on hand and lots of volunteers helped. Our bundles were 10 to 12 feet long and 4 to 5 feet wide. The best way of tying them was to lay three lengths of rope on the ground before placing the brush on top. <laughs> By making a loop at one end of each of the three ropes and pulling the other end through, we were able to winch the bundles together tightly. We tried both deciduous and coniferous brush in making the bundles. Conifers, like old Christmas trees, work particularly well. We found them easier to work with, and they provide excellent underwater structure. We decided to use cement blocks for sinking and anchoring the bundles. The plan was to submerge two bundles per site. Once we had enough bundles for a load, we transported them to the launch site at Dalhousie Lake. Here, volunteers loaded them onto a large pontoon boat that Hydro One had generously provided for the day. When choosing the loading site, we made sure there would be enough water depth at the launch ramp to facilitate the transfer of the bundles to the boat. The cement blocks and extra rope were also brought on board. We located each of the predetermined drop sites on the lake using a GPS. Then using the depth sounder, we rechecked the water depth to make sure it was still a good place for submerging the bundles. Once we had agreed on the exact location, we recorded the revised GPS coordinates on our map. Before dropping each of the bundles overboard, we attached the cement blocks. Due to the size of the bundles, we needed two to four blocks for each. Next time, we'll make the bundles smaller. This will make them easier to handle and also easier to sink to the bottom of the lake. After a long day, we managed to do 15 sites. Now it's up to the fish. 